This week, Burger King versus McDonald's. Steakhouse versus Steakhouse. So welcome back everyone to another Delivered Reviewed. Sort of a comparison, not exactly as you can see there, both Steakhouse Burgers, which I didn't realise Burger King did a Steakhouse Burger, but the Steakhouse Angus, and as you can see there, loaded fries, chilli cheese bites as a meal. To be honest, I just thought, let's just see, compared to last week, uh, the Steakhouse. So this Steakhouse Angus, I've had an extra burger to make it the same as the steakhouse stack that McDonald's was, do uh, was doing. I think they're still doing it. And a little bit over the top. Didn't realise the burgers were quite as thick as they obviously are. Um, but as you'll see in a sec, the burger being built, uh, just horrendous. The chilli cheese bites, again, I, I love chilli cheese bites. Uh, as good as they've always been, so obviously not made on site as per most things and uh, soft gooey little hint of obviously chili which was pretty nice the loaded fries which i didn't know they were doing and the fact that the box has got holes in to stop them steaming up i think is brilliant i don't think anybody else has done that and you've got a chimichurri uh, garlic with bacon and fried onions on top which was again i know i'm saying this there was almost too much of the bacon and uh, sort of toppings but obviously they're loaded however they were actually really nice kind of a little bit of a spice to it obviously garlic with the sauce and the bits of bacon and the fries were pretty good they were they were not crispy they weren't the original burger king fries they were more like a skinny fry so they were very nice uh the burger itself i as i say probably shouldn't have had the extra bun a burger rather um, but the bun itself being a brioche bun and as you can see there what the fuck one piece of tomato, bacon off to one side, bits of onion, fried onions, kind of mishmash, the, the cheddar cheese just literally straight out of the packet, straight on the top, not really melted at all. Um, now I know it's not a direct comparison obviously with the steakhouse stacks that had a peppercorn sauce on, whereas this is a barbecue sauce, but just to kind of have something to compare to the two restaurants, Burger King and McDonald's, um, I would say, again, I would have Burger King all day, every day in terms of their burgers, but even a bacon double cheese XL, this burger being a uh, steakhouse was a lot to eat. It, it doesn't look a lot, but it was a lot. And on top of that, the burger being bigger than the bun, so the opposite to McDonald's. I would say, if I was going to choose, I would say the Steakhouse Angus um, is a more substantial burger, substantial meal. If you had a single burger, probably would be more than enough. Um, cooked well, flame grilled, brioche bun, as I say, was quite nice. Uh, the rocket and the barbecue sauce and the way it was built could have been far better. But as you can see there from the side, it was a really nice burger, like just a little bit too much. Comparing it to the McDonald's burger, I would say the peppercorn sauce was far better than the barbecue sauce and the fact that it's more you've got more juicy kind of burger to it than mcdonald's again mcdonald's being quite dry however the fact that the burger was horrendously built i'm not going to give it any more than eight out of ten at a push we probably could have gone to eight and a half out of ten so they were more or less the same however very nice meal overall so thanks for watching thanks for the likes and also please subscribe